Hello! Are you wanting to play Genshin Impact, but not on Windows, but not on your iPhone, but not on your PlayStation 4, but not on your PS5, whatever the heck Genshin is on, but instead you want to play Genshin on Linux? Well, this is the correct video for you, so let's begin! Alright, so the first thing I want to do is show everyone the specs, here we go, Arch Linux user by the way, here we go, have a look at the specs, alright. All right, so let's go to Firefox, search up uh, an anime game launcher. Oh yeah, look at that. So let's just click on their GitHub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's just go down here, go down here, go down here. So we're using Arch Linux, but you know, there's, you know, other different distributions and there's the, you know, different links for each distribution package manager all that good stuff but since we're using arch we're going to the AUR so yeah I'm just gonna show you everything here so we're gonna go to the AUR and then type AUR go to the AUR search up an anime game launcher which I will do here all right so I'm gonna click on an anime game launcher here and I'm going to open up my terminal. Alright, and then this is what I'm going to put. So I'm going to put yay dash s and then anime an anime and then game launcher. There you go. Yeah. So then enter. Just basic, just press space. That's just that's just the basic. Just press space, whatever. Just do this for basically any yay installation. Yeah, it, it, just do this for any yay, yeah. And basically, um, just a little like a little hint for for you Linux noobs that plan on doing Arch Linux. Uh, yay isn't in, yay is not uh, installed by default in the Arch Linux system. You're gonna have to install it in the AUR. Uh, I'll, I'll leave a link on how you can do that later. Okay, but. I already have Yay installed, so I'm using the AUR helper Yay to help install an anime game launcher. So we're gonna just let it build, let it download, let it compile, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, uh, and we'll cut to it actually, uh, you know, uh, finishing. <laughs> All right, so the download is finished. So I'm using the GNOME desktop, so I will go find it uh, in the app section. And there you go, it should look like Raiden Shogun, epic style. Alright, so press continue, and then just continue that, yeah, just continue. Alright, so just continue through all of this, and then we're gonna download all the components, so remember all this, in case you need to fix it later. Alright, so just it's, it's, it's gonna download, I'm gonna press install, and yeah, I'm gonna let it download. Uh, there will be an error here, there will be an error, but for me, for this installation, it did work. So even though there is a, there's going to be an error for the Wine Mono installer, it, it will work, okay, it will work, trust me. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna do that little unpacking, it's gonna do this and that. I'll cut back to when it gets to the error and it'll do everything else. Alright, so now we got the funny error. Uh, I was a bit scared here when doing the installation, but you know, I just pressed OK, let it do its thing. Uh, so we'll just let it run. Yeah, we'll let it run. There you go. All that good stuff. Alright, so that's everything done. So now we'll restart and we'll download and we'll do a bunch of fast cuts here. So yeah, see you in a bit. All right, it's downloading epically. Finally, it's unpacking. All right, sweet. And another jump cut, and then bam. And another jump cut, and then bam. Uh, we'll disable telemetry. We'll put in our password. All that good stuff. And we'll finally launch the game. Here we go. All right, so this is where it's gonna get a little tricky here. So stay with me here. I'm going to be honest, I was a little impatient in this step. So instead, I decided to do these commands, which I will recreate here. I already did these commands, so, you know, the terminal will look different for you. And I'm just typing out the commands 
you know, just that way you can see it as well. But this is not what my terminal actually looked like. But I did type in these commands. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure if these are necessary, I'm gonna be honest, but the game did work with this. The game did work. But yeah, uh, it wasn't until I was messing around with the uh, game launcher for about like a couple hours did I realize that the secret was just to be patient. Like, literally. It was just to be patient. Like, you have to just like wait, right? Cause like, the it will give you a prompt, right? Like, it'll give you a prompt to say, ah, force quit or wait, force quit or wait. Or sometimes it will even just be a white screen. But just keep on waiting. Don't click force quit like I did. And you know what? There you go, the launch screen, you know? Launch screen and the game loads, so yeah. Uh, be patient, that's the moral of the lesson. And to wrap things off, uh, yeah, while I was rambling, I, you know, could not figure out <laughs> the, you know, whole fucking uh, window situation, like how to, you know, get it to full screen or whatever. So right about now, I should be, you know, Going back to the settings and messing around with the launcher and then going over to borderless window and then bam, uh, the full screen. Yeah, so uh, yeah, this is basically the full tutorial. Uh, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Uh, I haven't actually done this type of like tutorial format before. And uh, yeah, sorry it was a bit scuffed, but I really enjoyed making this video, even though it, you know, took a long time just waiting around for the for the launcher and feeling stupid, you know, if I just waited a little bit longer, perhaps the you know launcher would actually launch. But yeah, uh, my name is Austin, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.